Hello, writing community. We hope that you had a great week. Uh, diving right into some shout outs. So in our first shout out, uh, in this week's written newsletter, you will see a link to a news article and a video uh, which highlights the mental first aid class at RMHS, uh, which is really an incredible opportunity for our students uh, to support one another in identifying mental health needs. Um, this program has been extremely successful at RMHS, and we'd like to thank um, both the, the coalition, our RMHS staff, and all of our students for their work, which again, is, we think is uh, identifies and supports a really critical need, not only here in RMHS, but also in our community. So uh, check out that article and the video in this week's written newsletter. Shifting into a second shout out goes out to all those involved in the food waste composting program at Birch Meadow. So as you may know, this pilot program kicked off on January 11th at Birch Meadow and runs on Wednesdays in fourth and fifth grade. We know there's been a lot of interest in the RPS community around composting, and we're thrilled that this has kicked off at Birch Meadow. Uh, check out in the written newsletter a link to a, a write-up that has student photos, some student quotes, and uh, an overview of the program, and also a, a shout-out to our community partner, Reading Composters, for helping us to really kick off this program. Uh, next shout-out goes out to some of our students in our uh, RMHS AP Photography class under the direction of Mrs. Kathy Daly. Um, recently, um, these, this group came together with family and friends um, for a reception put on by the Griffin Museum of uh, Photography in Winchester to celebrate some of the great work of students. So in a link in the written newsletter, you can see an overview of the day, some of the uh, links to student work, and also some of our award winners. So congratulations to all of our students on their work and their amazing accomplishments. Our last shout out goes out to our RMHS boys basketball coach, Mr. Paul Morrissey. So congratulations, uh, coach. Uh, who just uh, recently won his 208th game as RMHS boys basketball coach, which now makes him the winningest coach of all time uh, in boys basketball history here at RMHS. So uh, a, a huge thank you to Coach Morrissey for his dedication to all of our student athletes and the impact that he's had over the years. Shifting into some updates, our first update is around an upcoming drama production at Parker, The Little Mermaid. So nearly 100 diversely talented Parker Middle School students have been preparing for the Parker drama, Parker drama's second chance to perform The Little Mermaid on stage. Originally scheduled for March 2020, the students then found out during dress rehearsal that their show was canceled due to the COVID shutdown announcement. A new cohort of students has stepped in and worked tire tirelessly to resurrect the performance and bring Ariel and her journey under the sea uh, to live stage at Parker Middle School. Uh, directed by the same leadership team, director Stephen McDonald, music director Jennifer DeMuzio, and choreographer Nancy Katz, this is an opportunity to honor what was lost while looking forward to new beginnings. And this is perfect for both students and families alike be lively, bright, and fresh show, features all of the classic songs that we all know, uh, and an opportunity to really see some uh, see our students shine. So this will be live and on stage at Parker next weekend. So Thursday, uh, March 9th is at 6.30 p.m. Friday, March 10th at 7 p.m. and Saturday, March 11th at 2 p.m. You can purchase tickets through a link provided in the written newsletter. We hope to see you there. Uh, Next update comes from CPAC. So join the Reading CPAC for a lineup of valuable inform informative events this spring. Topics include bullying, inclusivity, family emotional health, and anxiety. Uh, and we'll conclude the session with a social in June. So all events are free and open to everyone in the community. Uh, you'll see a link in the written newsletter to a flyer with more information. A uh, couple more updates. One comes from our R RPS Department of, uh, of Health Services. Uh, first, there's in the written newsletter, you'll find a few things. One, a link to some uh, COVID guidance. There's been some questions recently. Uh, so that uh, link in that document has some more information about our protocols. Two, uh, and more information about our request just to have families um, upload doctor's notes about medical conditions and absences to the new student health portal. This is a way to provide consistent documentation and ensure privacy. Uh, and then this information then becomes a part of the student's electronic uh, health record. So a little bit more information in the written newsletter. And then lastly, an upcoming vaccine clinic Friday, March 10th, with a link in the written newsletter to register. Now, last but not least, a uh, request from our town manager. There is a link in the written newsletter uh, for a Simons Way Exploratory Committee survey, which is uh, hoping to get out to a broader constituency of our community to fill out asking your views and opinions on sort of the, the new use of that space and potential use of that space. So if you have, please take a couple of minutes to fill out that survey. Uh, and uh, with that, we hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. And as always, go Rockets.